So the trick with these problems is to understand which operation you're using. I know I have these two expressions, but what am I doing with them? Am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? Now in this case, since there's nothing in the middle, I know I'm going to be multiplying. So if I'm multiplying and I have two terms times two terms, I know I'm going to have to FOIL. So let's go ahead and FOIL very carefully. So my first term gives me 4 times 3, which means 12. My second, my outside, so I did F, I'm going to do O. My outside is 4 times 5i. Now they're both positive, so I'm going to have a plus. 4 times 5 is 20, and then my i. Now let's do the inside. Okay, watch your signs. This is negative 2i times 3. So it's going to be negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, and then the i. Now we'll do our last terms. Negative 2i times positive 5i gives me, careful, watch your signs, it's going to be negative 10, and then i times i is i squared. Now there's two things that you can do in this step. First of all, if you look at your four terms, you can combine the middle two terms. They're like terms. The second thing you should notice is that we have an i squared. And whenever I have an i squared, I'm going to make a note to myself. That's actually going to be, I'm going to rewrite my entire last term. That's actually going to be negative 10 times negative 1. So keep that in mind because that actually turns this into a positive 10. So let's combine our like terms and rewrite the positive 10 in the next step. So I've got 12. Now 20 i minus 6i, so 20 minus 6 is minus 14, and then combine the like terms, i, and then plus 10 at the end. Now this is the key step that many, many people forget, is the i squared flips the sign of the last number really because it's negative 1, negative 1 times anything flips the sign. So the answer was going to be 22 minus or sorry, did I say minus? I'm crazy. That's plus 14. There. Because positive 20 minus 6 is plus 14. Sorry if that confused you. Okay, so this would be the final answer. Try these ones yourself. All right, pause the video here and give these a shot. All right, so I assume you had time to work on this. Let's check it out. See if you got 6 minus 15i plus 4i minus 10i squared. Two things you can do. Combine like terms and flip that sign. So this would have become negative 10 times negative 1 which is really plus 10. And my next step should say 6. And then minus 15 plus 4i is minus 11i plus 10. Combine like terms again. 6 plus 10 is 16 minus 11i. The last one. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And that would be minus 8i plus 3i plus 4i squared. Two things we can do right now. Combine like terms and replace our i squared. So it's going to give me negative 6, and then minus 8i plus 3i is minus 5i. And then this would have become plus 4 times negative 1, which is really flips that sign, which is minus 4. So this is the expression that I should be with. Now let's just combine our constants. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10 minus 5i.